We just watched Missouri beat Auburn, punching their ticket to a rematch with the Alabama Crimson Tide as we welcome in Jenna Laird to the set. Jenna, congratulations on the win. Thank you. First thoughts on facing Alabama again after just seeing them this past weekend. Honestly, I'd like to say revenge. I think just coming back because I feel like we kind of maybe have gotten something taken from us, but I think definitely as soon as we got that win, we knew we were just getting ready for Alabama, getting ready for Fouts, just knowing that we can come back and do it, win it all. Jenna, what we're seeing this year is an offensive league, right? But we've been waiting for a gem and a defensive performance that's been awesome, and you guys gave us that today. What do you guys do every day that makes your defense so good out there? We, we basically, we just keep it all, every single practice is the same. We're working on everything, all fundamentals. We just know that when you have, when your fundamentals are so perfect, then nothing can really go wrong. I mean, obviously there's human error, there's everything that goes on, but just making sure that our fundamentals are kept straight. We, that's one big thing that coach always, she's always talking about fundamentals. And how much fun is it to play defense behind Jordan Weber when she has a performance like she did out there today? It, it really fires me up, just knowing that when she's, she's firing us up, we're going right back at it. We know that she's throwing a no-hitter into the fourth. We're doing our best to keep it going, whatever, whatever we can do to play behind her and do the best that we can. And I want to talk a little bit about you moving to that leadoff spot. I know Brooke Wilmis went to Coach Anderson and said, hey, you know, I think this might be better. How did you feel about moving up to the lineup? Maybe give you a little bit of jitters, being the first batter of the game. How did yeah, that go? So, I mean, like growing up playing travel ball, all that, it's not the same, but I was, I was always a leadoff batter. So then when Brooke had told Coach, Coach had actually came right to me after. I, we were sitting getting breakfast, I believe. And I was like, okay, I said, this is my time to shine. I know that if Brooke feels better with me in the one spot and she wants it, I'm going to do, I'm going to produce for her. I'm going to keep her comfortable where she wants to be so that I can get on, steal, she can knock me and do whatever she needs to do to feel better. Selfless. Jenna, we before it. we let you go, I'm very curious, and this is going to be the weirdest question you get asked all day. <laughs> Tori, before the show, was telling us that when she gets her white pants dirty, which no one at home can see how dirty your pants are, she uses a pressure washer outside to wash the dirt. To be fair, my, of my mom did. Her <laughs> mom does <laughs> Do you out. have any mom. tricks? Do you use a pressure washer? Honestly, I have never used a pressure washer. I know my mom one time, she actually, she wanted to. I don't think she actually got to it, but it was always my grandma's little, she, she had the kind of magic touch to get Getting my, right. my clothes always sparkly clean. It's the family love. That's yeah. what it is. From the Vidalis family to the Laird family. Yep. Jenna, congratulations Thank on the you. win. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you, guys.